Hi friends, my name is Kathy Smith. I am going to show you several different ways to wear and style your Mimi shawl today. So stay tuned. All right guys, when you first get your Mimi, chances are she's probably going to arrive unbuttoned. She's gonna just be this giant, long, super soft rectangle, it has the tassels on the one of the long sides and then the two short sides. So I'm gonna show you how to find the buttons and button it um, when you first get it. You're gonna notice that there's a little neck tag up top. This is going to be super helpful when we're trying to button it. So we are going to put that little tag right on our neck. And then I'm just kind of making sure my two bottoms are even. They are fantastic. And then I'm gonna find that first button. And theoretically that buttonhole should be, you know, directly across from it. I will say the buttonholes, the first time you button this can be a little tricky to find. I like to just kind of run my finger along the edge and eventually you're gonna find a little spot where there's just a little more room. There's a little hole, that's your buttonhole. So it's not a sewn buttonhole. They're very discreet. Um, but once you've gotten one buttoned, again, theoretically, the rest of them should be perfectly lined up. Yep, there's that second one. I won't waste your time buttoning all of them, but they should be all lined up at that point. I will say, have some patience the first time when you're buttoning it. Once it's been buttoned up one time, the buttonholes are significantly easier to find all subsequent times. So button it up once, you might struggle a little bit. It's okay, you'll find them. And then, um, and then just know, Every other time you button it, they, those holes will have gotten just a little bit bigger and they'll be a lot easier to find. So anyway, then you could button it all the way up. So that's how to find the buttons and the buttonholes. All right, um, I'm gonna unbutton this though because I'm gonna show you some ways to wear and style the Mimi um, without the buttons first, all right? So first of all, easiest way to wear her is kind of this cape shawl look. Um, put her over your shoulders. She's going to wrap around your back. You have the cute tassels hanging out, which is so cute. And then she's just nice and long in front. This is a great, quick, easy way to throw it on. Easy to remove if you want to have this kind of be as your layering piece that you're going to take on and off during the day. Great option. Um, you can also take it off the shoulders, right? And just have it kind of as a more traditional shawl. I especially love those two looks. Um, the cape shawl and the shawl shawl. Um, when I'm wearing fancier dresses, a lot of times if you're getting dressed up, if you have a fancy event or a cocktail dress, you're going to a wedding and it's cold, it's so hard to find cute coats or sweaters or things sometimes that go with a more elegant dressy um, outfit. This is a great cover up to go with a nice cocktail dress. Um, you can leave it on all night long if you want to. You can remove it once you get to your event. Just wear this, um, you know, when you're outside or to the event or something like that. So this makes a great, great, great cover up for dressier occasions. She's great just with a bodysuit or a top um, and jeans, pants, anything too. But really, really great for dressy occasions. Um, she also makes an excellent scarf. So we can, woo, we can wear her as a scarf, as a nice long scarf. You've got the beautiful front and back long scarf that can be part of your outfit, that can be with your coat. You could also wear her as more of like um, an infinity scarf. We can stick the two ends in front. We can keep wrapping and kind of tuck the ends underneath. This looks really silly without my big bulky winter coat, but um, you know how you just want a really warm scarf when you're wearing your big bulky coat? So here she can just look exactly like an infinity scarf. You can kind of tuck those ends. I can tuck them. There we go. Tuck the ends underneath. You just have this really cozy, warm infinity scarf. Um, you can also leave her as we were here. I'm gonna make those two ends kind of even. And then I'm gonna take my belt. So if you want to have her be part of your outfit and kind of stay for the day and not be slipping off or falling off, a belt is a great option. And I'm gonna show you a couple options with a belt. Um, this first one, there we go. And then she's just kind of gonna stay and be part of your outfit 
all day long. You don't have to worry about it slipping or falling off. So that's a great option. Um, last thing I'm going to show you with unbuttoned is we're going to take, uh, we're going to start like this. I'm going to make one side shorter, one side longer, and I'm going to take this longer side and then I'm just going to tuck it over my shoulder here and then kind of throw it across my body. So oh, this is not staying quite as nicely as I wanted it to. There we go. All right. So you kind of have this kind of, I need just kind of, this tag keeps getting stuck. I really need to cut this off. Cut these tags off when you get this. Cut that one and cut, where's the other little one? There's going to be a little tag down here. Keep the button. Cut that tag off too because it's, you don't want it like this little white chunk hanging out there. Um, okay, let me try this again. Actually, I'm going to start with it draped around my shoulders. Okay, there we go. Start with cape, cape shawl look. Okay, so around the back, around the shoulders. Now I'm going to make it longer on the one side, shorter on the other side. I'm taking the long side and I'm just going to kind of throw it over my shoulder. There we go. <sighs> Dang tag. So here you have kind of this like wrapped look up top. Your shoulders are covered and then you've got this long piece in back. This would be another way to kind of wear it as a cover up. This is probably if you move your arm, it's not going to stay great all day long. But if you're running somewhere or this is how I wear it on the airplane a lot of times when I'm freezing cold or in a restaurant, it's another really cute way to kind of get shoulders um, and most of your arms covered and keep you warm. So those are all ways to wear the Mimi without it being buttoned. Now let me show you some ways to wear it buttoned. Okay, so once you've gotten your Mimi across your shoulders and all lined up and all buttoned up, um, you can wear it just like that, kind of as a poncho. Again, it's wrapped around the back and then you've got these long pieces in front. Your arms can do whatever they need to do and it's gonna stay on all day long. Um, great option. I love flipping the buttons to the side. And then you kind of have room for your arm to stick out. You can wear this off the shoulder. You could wear it straight across and show like a little bit on each shoulder. I really love the one shoulder look, so I'm gonna go with that. Um, and I love this. This is, again, this will stay put all day long. Both of your arms have room. It's kind of like an asymmetrical poncho look. It's long in front and in back. I love this. And then we can also go around the back and we can belt it in place. Now it's really going to stay all day long. I've created a little waist. So even though I've got lots of material going on, got a flattering look, kind of play with it, bunch it up if you want, kind of pull that arm out a little bit. So there. Woo! Okay. So we've got room. We can do all the things. Again, it's belted across the back too. Um, so cute. I love this look. Skinny jeans, boots, add a cute little hat. So this is like, instead of wearing it as a layering piece, like this is your outfit, part of your outfit for the day. So adorable. You can also take the belt and instead of going all the way um, around, I am going to stick the belt underneath the back part and we can leave the back loose and flowy and then still have the front belted, which is, so it's gonna look similar in the front, uh, the back will look a little bit different. So again, I've belted it. Again, let's here, we'll go this way this time, a little off both shoulders. Um, I'm belted in front, but in the back, I kind of have more of that loose and flowy, almost like a cape kind of look in the back. So cute that way too. All right. So those are some ways to wear the Mimi. She is just a, such a fun option. Again, you can wear her as part of your outfit or just wear her as a cover up that you can remove from your outfit. Um, great for dressier events. 
I love keeping one in my car because I am always cold at the movie theater and out to dinner and anything like that. So she's a great piece to just have in your car, have as an option to throw on with whatever you might be wearing. Um, and she's also great for travel. If you travel a lot, or again, if you're like me, you get cold in airplanes, in airports, um, a Mimi is always a part of my travel essentials when I am traveling um, so that I can just throw her on and be nice and warm and cozy. So she is a wearable shawl blanket. She's fabulous. I think you guys are going to love her. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope this helped with some different ways to wear and style the Mimi.